Street Fighter starring Jean-Claude Van Damme is a cult classic known for its nostalgic appeal as an adaptation of the classic video game. The movie was directed by Steven D'Souza, who also directed the blockbusters Die Hard 1 and 2. In the 1994 film adaptation of Street Fighter, Colonel Gal is portrayed by Belgian martial artist and actor Jean-Claude Van Damme. Gal is one of the central characters of the film and serves as the leader of a multinational task force who is committed to his mission of stopping the antagonist, Mr. Bison, from carrying out his plan. You think you're so clever, Gal? This motivation is fooled by Bison's capture of our stages and his efforts to create chaos and conflict. Gal is depicted as a character with a strong sense of honor and duty, he is willing to make personal sacrifices to achieve his mission and save innocent lives. This sense of honor is a recurring theme throughout the film. So Street Fighter embraces its campion over the top style. While it may not succeed as a serious action film, it becomes an unintentional comedy in some moments. I know you like to look at yourself on television, you sick son of a bitch. So look at this. The Nostalgia Factor. For fans of the Street Fighter video game franchise, Street Fighter offers a sense of nostalgia. The film attempts to bring iconic characters to life, allowing viewers to see familiar faces like Chun-Li and Gal in live action. Despite its flaws, Street Fighter managed to entertain a generation of fans who grew up playing the video games. It offered a chance to see their favorite characters come to life on the big screen even if the execution was far from perfect. So here's some additional positive aspects. Raul Jules' memorable performance is undoubtedly the highlight of the film. Despite the movie's shortcomings, Julia's charisma and over-the-top delivery make him a captivating and unforgettable antagonist. His performance adds a layer of charm and entertainment that elevates the movie. The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Visual faithfulness. Making that one's portrayal of Chun-Li stays relatively faithful to the character's appearance in the video games. Throughout the film, she engages in various fight sequences and showcases her combat abilities. Jean-Claude Van Damme, known for his martial arts skills, gets to showcase his abilities in several fight scenes. Despite being an action movie, the fight scenes in Street Fighter are somewhat underwhelming. The choreography doesn't live up to the standards set by other martial arts films, and the action can feel disjointed. The production design. The film features some of visually striking sets and locations that capture the essence of the Street Fighter universe. The colorful set and detailed set designs create a vibrant and visually engaging backdrop for the action. The costumes of the characters, especially those inspired by the video game, are well executed and add to the overall visual appeal. Cheesy one-liners And all humanity shall bow to me in humble gratitude. So this movie gives homage to the source material in various ways. The inclusion of classic moves and catchphrases from the video game may bring a smile to fans' faces. The film's unintentional humor and cheesy one-liners have given it a cult following. Especially when it comes to bland cast transformation have not aged well and can be unintentionally funny. Weak plot and dialogue. The film's plot is a paper thin and often feels like a filmsly excuse to string together action sequences. The dialogue can be cringe, inducing at times, and the attempts at humor often fall flat. Many of the beloved Street Fighter characters are reduced to one-dimensional caricatures, lacking the depth and complexity of their video game counterparts. Jean-Claude Van Damme's portrayal of Gal, while entertaining, doesn't capture the essence of the character from the games.
Street Fighter may not be a cinematic masterpiece, but it has its merits, especially in terms of visual design, nostalgia, and its status as a cult classic. You might find some entertainment value in it, however, if you are seeking a well-crafted action movie of a faithful adaptation of the Street Fighter universe, you may be left disappointed. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please like, share, and subscribe.